Welcome back guys, thank you very much for joining me. Today I've been a little bit naughty. I've been out and bought myself the new Dyson V11 Absolute Vacuum Cleaner. Now I've, I've given these a bit of hard press in the past. I've never given them a chance. Until I went to a friend's house and uh, gave his a go. And it surprised me how good it was. So I figured I'd go out and get myself one. So as usual guys, no messing around in the video. We're going to get down and dirty straight into it. Open the box, take a look what's inside. Give a little specification, a little overview, do a quick demonstration and then some final thoughts at the end. Let's take a look what's inside then. Using a spade bit, always a good bit of kit really to use that isn't it? Eh? Always need it on site, but it's always in my garage. Oh yes, look at that. So we've obviously got the warranty, the instructions. We'll read those in a bit. Always read the instructions. Don't just throw them away like that. We've got the wand, I believe it's called. Or the spout, depending on where you're from. Get into the thing. Okay, that's quite nice. Feels of good quality. Yeah, okay. you then got your attachments. Oh my god, they pack these quite well, don't they? So you've got your hard to reach spout, you've got your soft bristle, soft brush, it's quite nice. So you've got this little plastic clip here. Now, this little plastic clip goes onto your wand, just clips on like that, and then you can plug in additional attachments that you might need. So it saves you making a couple of trips back and forth to the holder itself. So quite handy, nice little piece of kit that. And as I say, I believe it's the first of its kind. You've obviously got your wall mount in there, so we can bang that on the wall, and some instructions of how to pop it on. Um, I suggest if you have to read them, you get somebody who's capable of doing it. High torque motor, very nice. And I believe you adjust it just on here. And then we have the other smart motor, which this adjusts itself to suit the floor that it's on. So obviously from carpet to hard floor to whatever else you may go on to, this will adjust the power ratio and output to suit. That's quite clever. I don't know if that works on both heads or just this one. We'll give it a try and find out. So if you guys do have anything you'd like to say about Dyson, make sure you bang it in the comments for me. Obviously we've got a charger there usual caper and of course the pistol resistance and of course some instructions with it he's charging look and I believe this is an LCD screen as well which obviously gives you your power outputs and how much you have left so we've got eco mode medium mode and boost mode typical modes are back There we go, medium and eco. And again, if you're using the adjustable ratio head, I believe it's, it goes straight to auto. Yeah, looking forward to giving this a go. So let's get inside, guys, get it on the rug and put it to work. Taking a look at the specifications, it comes in at weighing 2.97 kilograms. That's with the nickel tool drive cleaner head attached. It's got a runtime of plus 60 minutes. It's got 14 concentric cyclones in the cyclone technology. The filtration is advanced whole machine filtration, very easy to take out and clean. It's got a bin volume of 0.67 litres, suction power max mode on 185AW and a charge time of 4.5 hours. This can differ depending on what you need. The total height is 261mm, length 1286mm and width 250mm. Covering the technology side of things, it's got a fade-free power. The seven-cell nickel cobalt aluminium battery has fade-free power to clean here, there, everywhere around your home. It's powered by the Dyson Digital V11 motor, the most powerful suction of any cord-free vacuum cleaner yet. It's got 14 cyclones that generate forces more than 79,000 to fling microscopic particles such as pollen, bacteria, into the bin. 
It's got whole machine filtration, a fully sealed filtration system that traps 99.97% particles, as small as 0.3 microns, expelling cleaner air. It's acoustically engineered, designed to absorb vibrations and dampen noises to keep sound levels down. And I have to say it is a very, very quiet device indeed. It's got inline configuration, the motor bin and cyclone are aligned so that air is drawn into the cyclones in a straight line, helping to create a most powerful Dyson suction yet, as we've already stated. As you can see, looking at the digital LCD screen, I have 77 minutes and 11 seconds on eco mode, on medium or auto mode, 38 minutes, and of course on boost or quick mode, 14 and a half minutes. In my personal opinion, this is very generous timescale, especially for a corded vacuum cleaner as small and as light as this one. Time for some final thoughts, guys, and I've been using this for a good 24, 48 hours since purchase, and I have to say, I'm still very much impressed by it. I just do hope that it keeps to impress me and it does still hold its own. I do think it's a very, very handy tool to have and again, it, it does host and pack a lot of handy features, the LCD screen, the easy bin option, which again, if you're not used to having bags or anything like that, it's still not that dusty. It's not that heavy on the arm and it has superb cleaning ability. I consider myself quite a clean guy and a, quite a clean family. We hoover up once, maybe twice a day, and this still managed to rip out a lot of dirt and dust that was gathering in the carpet, so yeah, I'm very much impressed by it. I do believe that the V11 is the only model out there now, because it's the current model, that actually gives you how much time or how much cleaning time you've actually got left in each mode, and I do think it's very important. Now I have found out that obviously medium is auto mode, and when on this mode it will modulate depending on the carpet or surface that you are hoovering. The downsides to this is it's very pricey, very pricey. You're looking at 599. You can get it cheaper elsewhere and it does come with what four, five, six heads with it. That's the difference. There is cheap ones out there like the Animal uh, and the Torg in America and stuff like that that have less heads and it is cheaper 449 that sort of price. But I did find uh, an additional motorized head in the box itself which is handy for cars, floors, or any tight areas that you can't get the main head. And it, uh, to be honest, I've been using this head quite a lot, and it's surprising at how much still that this can pick up. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much impressed by it, and I can't wait to do a follow-up review in about six months and let you know how I'm getting on, and whatever faults and flaws that I might have found. And not only uh, is the bin easy to empty on here just by the handle itself, but even the filter, get into this, it's literally unscrewing it off washing it out, leaving it for 24 hours to dry and popping it back in. It's that simple. I have found or found some reviews out there that some of the parts are quite difficult to change on the machine, but that's where you get the extended warranty and get the service guys to do it for you. That's my true opinion anyway. So to summarize, I do think that the V11 is a step up from the other models in many different ways, not only due to its power, because its power has blown me away. I'll be perfectly honest with you, I'm very, very happy with it. The LCD screen showing you how much time you've got left, the three different modes, uh, the battery performance, and everything seems to be majorly upgraded. As I say, I just hope that it still continues to deliver its performance in six months time. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video.